Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're looking at testing a motor before you put it into the roller shutter or your shade. So it's something people want to do because they don't want to go through all the trouble only to find out that the motor isn't working. Um, but there's only limited amount of options you can, uh, you can do when you're doing the testing so let's get into it. First of all you can't reset the motor. When you get the motor, it's a new, and it's a new motor, um, it's already in its factory settings. So there's no way to reset the motor and go back to it because it's already in that state. So that's something to realize. A reset isn't possible, um, will give you no effects whatsoever. So um, something to avoid and, and uh, unnecessary. Now what can you do is to test the basic operation of the motor for which you need a remote control. So what you're going to do is actually the first few steps of a complete um, um, limit setting of the motor. And you start with pressing the up and down button, like so. And you can see that the motor responds, so now there's a link between the motor and the remote. And you can test both directions, so you can press up. And then it will automatically stop and down. And that's also the... the complete range that you can get in terms of the motion the motor will uh, will give so you can't go any further um, and that's enough to uh, to test the motor if you want to set the end limit you need to build it into the tube and you need to have the crown and drive um, attached to the motor because only then um, can the motor determine how far it will have to roll in and out so that's something um, something you can only do when the motor is, is built in. Now once you've done the test uh, you don't need to reset it, you just need to um, pull the plug out for example I've released the screws already or just disconnect it from power so that the, uh, the motor is back into the factory setting there's no link with a remote, remote control anymore. So that's it if you want to do the test, that's a basic test you can do, there's no problem with the motor if it doesn't run as far as you want it to go, um, as I mentioned it can only be done when the motor is already fully installed. Now if you have any questions let me know, if you want to know more about RTS or uh, IO motors from Sanfi, um, there are links in the description and then I'll gladly see you in the next video, thank you.